we will be replacing the headlights in this 2015 Jeep Wrangler with all new LED bulbs from Ala Lighting. For this installation, you'll need a flathead screwdriver and a T15 Torx driver. You can see the standard halogen still installed. We will start under the hood. There are six locking fasteners along the top of the grill that will need to be removed. We will be removing the grill because of the limited space to reach the bulbs on both the passenger and driver sides. Carefully pry out each fastener. You may have to lift the middle and then pop it out if all the factory fasteners are still installed. Otherwise, they'll come straight up and out. And the last one. Now you'll be able to pop free the hidden locking tabs that are behind the light. Grasp the grill firmly with two hands and give it a quick pull straight towards you. Now the same technique for the other side. This is the tab you popped free. The last set of tabs are across the bottom. They should easily come loose after freeing both sides. You'll also need to remove the turn signal bulbs on both sides before removing the grill. There are four T15 Torx screws holding the ring around the light. Be careful to hold the light with one hand when you loosen that last one. When you pull off the ring, notice the seam at the bottom. This is how it will go back on. Now the light will come right out of the housing. Unplug the bulb in the back by turning counterclockwise. To unplug the wire, first slide the red locking tab towards the back. You can then push on the back tab to pull the bulb out. Your new LEDs look different with a separate driver, but our bulbs are designed to fit exactly as your halogen bulb, giving you optimal performance and an easy plug and play installation. Go ahead and plug the new LED bulb right into the wire connector. Slide the red tab back down to lock it. And before we put everything back, make sure to test it. It lights, and it's super bright, but we notice the bulb starts to flicker. This is caused by some vehicle's electrical systems that occasionally will pulse. This is an easy plug and play fix. Adding this decoder will smooth out any pulsing. Unplug your bulb from the wire connector and plug in the decoder. Plug your bulb into the decoder and retest. The flicker is gone. We'll go ahead and move on to finish the install. 
When installing the bulb, be sure to line up the large locking tab with the one on the slot. Push the bulb back into the housing and turn it clockwise to lock it. The short fan design on this bulb allows for an easy fit in most vehicles. We notice after locking it that the wire out the back is not hanging directly down. This lets us know that the LED chips are not properly aligned in the housing. The LED chips on this bulb should face left and right with the wire hanging straight down after it's been locked. This bulb is 360 degrees adjustable. Just hold the chuck with one hand and with your other hand push and turn the back of the bulb. Now you can reinstall the light. Feed the driver and decoder into the hole. Line up the headlamp so the writing on the back is facing up and the vertical lines in the mirrors are straight up and down. Add the outer ring. Make sure the seam is at the bottom. And secure it with the four torques you had removed. Now the other side. Remove the four Torx screws and pull out the light. Unlock the bulb and then unlock the wire connector. Push the tab and pull out the bulb. First plug in the decoder. Then the bulb. And finally the bulb back into the housing. Check the wire in the back and adjust if needed. Reinstall the headlamp. Secure the ring with the four Torx screws. Reinstall the grill by first installing the turn signal bulbs back in. Line up the locking tabs you popped free earlier. And with your palm, give it a quick wrap until it clicks in. And the same for the other side. Finally, across the bottom. Replace all the plastic locking fasteners along the top by pushing them in. And you're done installing new super bright LED headlights from Ayla Lighting. Here's what the standard halogens look like next to your new LEDs. Our light meter readout is 2,710 degrees Kelvin and a lux of 301 from the halogen. 
and 6,011 degrees Kelvin and a lux of 968 from the LEDs. That is over three times brighter than the halogen at a color temp ideal for seeing at night. Safer, smarter, brighter, better. We are ALA Lighting.